In the previous videos, we have explained the splash screen and the project navigator. Now, let's open a spreadsheet. Notice my subjects are contained as rows and data about the subjects contained as columns. The blue letter across the top indicates column variable type, and you can see the first few columns in this spreadsheet are phenotypic variables. We have a categorical variable, a binary variable, a real valued variable, an integer variable. If I scroll over in this spreadsheet, you can see I also have my genotype data as well. This is indicated by a G. In the top right hand corner, we can see the dimensions of our spreadsheet and the dimensions of the active data. Here we have 468 subjects and 499,272 columns. Eight of those are phenotypic columns, the remaining are genotypes. Before I explain the menus at the top, let me demonstrate how you would go about editing the data. In SVS, to edit the data you must be explicit. You must go to the Edit menu and select Edit this spreadsheet. In a later lesson, I will demonstrate how we can edit this data. Now I'll explain the menus across the top. We covered the edit menu. From here you can edit the spreadsheet, transpose, and do various data recoding, such as recoding genotypes numerically for a regression analysis. From the select menu, we can use file metadata and annotation data to activate or inactivate columns or rows. From the quality assurance menu, we access our various statistical quality assurance measures, followed by analysis, plotting, our user scripts, and help menu. These icons across the top are shortcuts to particular features. Here is the spreadsheet join feature. Here is the transpose, row and column subsets, and various plots. Some functions from the select and quality assurance menu will deactivate certain data. Before I demonstrate how to do that manually, let's first recognize that because our all and active dimensions are the same, SVS is viewing all of this data as active and independent. We can change the state of a column by clicking on its header. Clicking once will set a column variable as a dependent variable for analysis. Clicking twice will turn that column variable off. Notice this can be done for rows as well. Click again to reactivate the data. Right-clicking a column will present you with column type specific options. In this case we have a binary column, so I can activate the zeros or the ones. Or I can plot the variable. 